Hey guys, Nexi here, and today I am back with another Minecraft auction video for you guys. And today, I actually have a map showcase for you guys, an amazing map showcase of Erebor, uh, the lonely mountain from The Hobbit. I don't know if any of you guys have seen The Hobbit movies, they're really, really, really awesome. I recently saw the third one, my uncle, and it was epic, and I just, I really wanted to make this video because, I mean, Erebor, this, this map, I mean, uh, it's so cool, and we're gonna explore the whole thing together, but first, I would like to mention that Erebor, the Lonely Mountain, was made by uh, Trixie Blocks on PC, uh, but then it was ported by Gold Skull MC uh, to Pocket Edition, like right here, and you can also find the download link in the description below if you want to download it, and I don't know, maybe even play Survival in it, or just have some fun. Uh, but yeah, so, that is that, and we're gonna go explore it. Uh, and yeah, so hopefully the dragon's not in there, but I, I don't know, I don't know if it's in there, but pretty much, I recognize this, okay, of course the rest of this map right here, uh, is, you know, very PC-like, it's like Minecraft PC, he just built it on the side of a mountain, I guess, and built a mountain, I'm not really over there, so no, none of that is really relatable to the Hobbit, but this, this is relatable to the Hobbit, except for, wait a minute, is there? Okay, okay, I'm lagging a little bit, this map is huge, oh my gosh, but yeah, yeah, for a second I was like, wait, there's no water here, but yeah, there is, there's the water here, uh, which, you know, Bilbo almost fell into, uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, I'm not gonna spoil it, guys, you guys have to watch the movies for yourselves if you haven't yet, but, uh, yeah, first off, you walk in here, you have those, like, giant, like, protector fangies right over there, yeah, you remember those protector fangies, yeah, those protector guys over there on each side, uh, but yeah, on the inside, you got, oh my god, this is absolutely humongous, freaking dwarfs in their building, oh my gosh, this is, this is huge, oh my gosh, and this is where, this is where they stood in the third movie, I remember, and there's cake over here, all right, there's cake over here, made of, cake stairs, what the heck, I guess he replaced some of the blocks that weren't in PC yet with cake, I mean, pocket edition yet, but yeah, you can see this is where they had the argument and were waiting, uh, while the elf stood there. Oh my gosh, this is this this is very very similar. It's really really cool. Uh, but yeah, you got more of these statues uh, over here. Uh, like a big bell was here, I think. Like maybe not. Anyway, oh my gosh, does it go all the way down to like? I think it goes all the way down. I think it would have gone deeper, but uh, you know, when you're porting the pocket edition, you have a limited amount of space. As you can see here, it, it, there's a lot of stuff in this uh, world. So we're gonna go back to the main floor and explore that first, first and then we're gonna move on to the other floors. But so far, this is pretty, pretty epic. I need to turn up the volume a little bit right here, okay. Okay, I have to reload the world because like, the, the, it was something we're recording. Anyway, oh my gosh, there's mobs in here, crap. Are we on like, are we on difficult? We're on difficulty, okay, we gotta turn that off for a creative. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna affect it. Oh my gosh, it doesn't affect it. What is this map? What is this map, guys? Anyway, uh, so the first floor, okay, so we came in over here, the entrance, and over to the left, I'm not exactly sure, there's this, the guy, uh, we're gonna have to find the gold room ourselves as well, and oh my gosh, this is so deep, okay, I think this is the mine, yeah, this, this right here is the mine, and uh, <clears throat> there's all these various different rooms, as you can see right here, there is a, uh, what is this, what kind of room is this, that is a weird room, anyway, uh, but yeah, you can see there's a lot of stuff made from gold, because the dwarves really like gold, you can see the pillars, I think those are made, yeah, those are made from gold, yeah, definitely, as you can see, gold and quartz, they do all that digging, and uh, they got that out, so, that's pretty, pretty sweet, there's a bunch of rooms you can see here, there's all these doors, that, I don't think they lead to anywhere, they're just like, yeah, I think there's, I don't know, maybe they were like stuff, bring stuff up and bring stuff down, uh, to different levels, maybe they had like little levers and stuff, um, for doing that, uh, but yeah, the, yeah, dwarves, yeah, the construction, definitely, definitely, they were part of that. Um, so yeah, this is that this part of the room, uh, this part of the floor. Now on the right side, I'm not sure what's on the right side, but as you can see, this is absolutely gigantic. This is absolutely gigantic, and the stairs go up somewhere. We'll check that out in a second. Uh, yeah, there's another mine over here that goes all the way down. As you can see, very, very deep. Uh, all these different rooms, the zombies walking around over here on the map, so yeah, if you guys want to be careful when you walk in here, when you're actually playing by yourself, then yeah, you, you gotta be careful, guys, you gotta be careful. And over here, we're gonna go over here, I think, is this gonna be the gold room? No, this is the, oh yeah, this is the, what's it called, the, the king's room. Yeah, this is the king's place, this is where the king used to sit. Uh, this is where Thorin, I think this is where Thorin uh, sat in the movie. Over here, yeah, here's the throne. Uh, this is where he and his friend had that argument over here. And oh my gosh, just broke the block, Good crap, okay. Well, it's a good thing I'm not the one uploading. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, more of these statue warrior people. And this is, yeah, this is definitely where he sat, but, oh my gosh, look at all that. They did a lot of mining. They weren't very clean, but their architecture was, was you know, something to admire, of course. Uh, over here, we have... Oh, yeah, it just, it's like an 
outrance, not an entrance, but like an, it's an exit. Why did, why did it say outrance? It's an exit. Oh my gosh, to the outside over there. I'm not sure if that was actually in the movie, in the books. Uh, but, oh, uh-huh, okay. Okay, so here is the gold room. Yeah, here is the gold room because they have to come from the other side to actually walk in there. And holy crap, that's a lot of gold. Yeah, so we're going to just go drop down. Oh my gosh, this is so huge. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is absolutely gigantic. As you can see, the, like the guy who made this. Oh my gosh, this must have taken this must must have taken him many many hours of work, and that's just that's not even saying much. I mean, this must have taken like a year to build it. But of course, he didn't build it by hand. But he still, even with a world edit, this must have taken just a very very long time to make. And oh my god, I wish I had all that gold. I even wish I had what like, one block of gold IRL. But look at these dwarfs. They have. Unlimited amounts of gold and this room is absolutely gigantic. Um, now I wonder where where did Bilbo come through? Because I remember Bilbo in the movie, he came through somewhere. There was like a special doorway they had to come through. Remember for the side of the side of the mountain? Okay, I don't I don't remember where it is, uh, but it's somewhere there. I'm sure. I'm not sure if the build the person who built this actually included it, but uh, still very very sweet. So that is the gold room. This is where you can. Uh, Get rich, you know, get get rich and get money and get rich even more. Uh, so now, yeah, now we're going to go back upstairs. Not really back upstairs, but, you know, back to the main throne room and explore the rest of the place. Uh, because I think there's I think there's still more than to this than just, like, a gold part. So, yeah, and as you can see here, like, the mine part over here under the throne room is, is so huge. Like, holy crap. That's all I can say, guys, is holy crap. It's so gigantic. Oh, yeah, yeah, if, if you guys fell off, if you guys fell, like the dwarves, they had, they had to have steady, they had, they had to have, yeah, they had to have very steady feet, as you can see right here, because look, if you're walking on here, you, you can easily fall off, like, you're laughing with someone, you're drunk or something, and like, ha 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 ha, oh crap, you know what I'm saying, guys? So you gotta be very, very steady, or else, you know, splash and uh, some cockroaches or ants down there, if there's any ants or cockroaches down there, uh, have a nice meal. Uh, but yeah, okay, I don't know what's over there. Uh, where where was the place that they... Uh, was it here? I'm not sure if it was here, but what what is over there? I'm going to go check what it's over there. Uh, because I think I see something over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the room? No, I don't think this is the room. But there is more places to go, I think. Uh, no, that just leads over there. So I'm gonna, I wonder what's over here. Over down here. Does it lead back to the main floor? I think it's going to lead back to the main floor, but we can check just to make sure. Uh, but anyway, if you guys want to... You know, check out this map by yourself, play on survival, or just have some fun uh, with this map. Then you can download it, download it using the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, this leads back to the <clears throat> main floor. Uh, I'm not sure where this goes. We're gonna go tr see what these le these stairs lead to. What's up here? Even higher. I think up here, just higher, is just more uh, more like. I think. Oh yeah, this is the living quarters. Yeah, up here, I remember is the living quarters. This is where they slept, ate, and uh, you know. Did, did the do, did the do, if you guys know what I'm saying, yeah, did the do, that is where they did the do, so, uh, that's, the, that's definitely the place, maybe we can just fly up here, and look at all these rooms, there's so many rooms in here, you know it would be really awesome if someone made a server out of this, and you could, like, like a PvP server out of this, this would be so much fun, like, shooting people from, like, over here, like, let me get a boat out, let me get a boat out, let me demonstrate, for example, you spawn out there at first time, and, and then when you come in here, you can, Shoot people. Oh, that'd be so sick if somebody made this. You know, someone needs to make this into a PvP server, but I, I'd probably have to have... If I wanted to make one, for example, into this into this into a PvP, PvP server, I'd probably need permission from the guy who made this first. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, but there is a ton of cake. There's a ton of cake over there. Um, and yeah, it, there's a bunch of rooms, and I think that's most of it uh, when it comes to the map. Uh, yeah, there's, these are just living quarters. This is where they live in, live in stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what's down deeper though. We're gonna go check what's down deeper, other than the uh, other mined up spots. Uh, so ooh, we made it. Okay, for a second there, I thought we were gonna fall down, but uh, I th I'm not sure if it went deeper or if this was just like because yeah, I'm sure that's the limit, the pocket vision limit, but I'm not not exactly 100% sure. All right, so yeah, these are just rooms. Uh, this is it. You can just use the stairs to go back up, and you know this would be really cool uh, to live in, it's like with, in survival. Yeah, this would be pretty pretty sick. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go fly back up, we're going to fly back up, we're going to fly back up. And yeah, we're going to look at Erebor one last time from the outside. 
and then that'll be that for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you like and a comment telling me what your favorite part of Erebor is. And if you want to see more uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition showcase, map showcases, then uh, also tell me so in the comment section below. Uh, but yeah, this has been it. This has been Erebor. Be snexy, guys. Because being snexy is better than being sexy. It's a scientifically uh, proven fact. You know, all the time. It's been proven every single day. And what, what, what's with these shadows? What is with those shadows? Are those shadows from the clouds? No, they're not from the clouds. What the heck? There must be like some invisible bedrock or some kind of blocks there just making that shadow. Anyway, yeah, you can see he could not port it completely because the top, as you can see, the top just like gets cut off by the clouds. Yeah, there's there was more. Yeah, there were stairs. There was more to this. Uh, but unfortunately, Erebor is too big for Pocket Edition. If you want to, I guess if you have a PC, you can download it on PC and have fun on there. But, um, yeah, I don't have sprint. I don't have sprint mod. Okay, I have to run over here. But yeah, this is this is the throne room. Pretty pretty sick. I I I don't know why I didn't look up earlier. I could have probably seen the could have seen the sky. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'll see you guys next video. Peace, guys. Love you and bye. But one thing I want to do before the end is just look over here. Whoa whoa whoa! whoa. What's with the grass over here? This is some funky green green grass. I just that is not normal grass. Or maybe it's just faithful grass. I don't know. Who knows? I don't. See you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And peace.